Cap here and welcome to game development devlog number 25 for a spaceship game that I'm making in Unreal Engine 5 with my buddy Rich and some help from the community. Today I'm really excited to get into a few things. Firstly, we have our first moving and firing NPC in the game. This is really exciting because it lets us test out a bunch of new combat theories. And secondly, we have a bunch of really cool new assets that came from a community member that uh, are adding a lot of flair into the game, kind of literally. So here's our asteroid base that we've shown off many times before, but this time it's got some moving landing lights that move toward the base. This light system here was designed by Uriah, another Unreal Engine developer who is working on his own project and made a very cool uh, light system that is super performant, very powerful, very flexible, and it lets me control everything I need to about how these lights function, uh, their animation, how bright, how far away they need to be to fade out, and of course it's very, very performant because that's kind of Uriah's thing. On the technical side of things, these are all sprites with special scaling and dithering to avoid weird anti-aliasing effects at range. And the light beacon meshes that I attach them to are actually hierarchical instant static meshes, which means that they're basically super performant if I want to throw 500 of them into a scene. He also developed a really nice system for exporting them with my spaceship model so I can literally just drag a single mesh onto my ship and it applies all the sprites in the exact right positions, which is a super cool and convenient workflow. Now I can have blinking lights on the ship. I don't know if they're always going to blink here, but you know, maybe in emergency conditions or something. He also used the exact same system to create a bloom effect for the engine of a missile or a rocket, and then went ahead and designed his own custom ribbon renderer for that system, which looks great, and he helped me set it up for the rockets in our game. Now, certainly one of the most exciting things we've done this week is we've created a moving AI ship that has a weapons brain, a movement brain, and it can follow a path in the game as well. If he doesn't spot me here, he will stay on a path until I get within detection radius of him. So this is the first time we've had a ship actually using their thrusters and stuff. Now, as I get within detection range, I use my engines, which spotted me. He will start shooting missiles at me, and if I can dodge him and close the distance, you can sort of... Ooh, that was close. See how a fight between two ships might occur like this. So now I'm smaller, a little more agile. I can hopefully outmaneuver him there and take him out. Now what's cool about this, <laughs> this is interesting, some of the debris seems like it's on my plane. Uh, he has now dropped cargo on death. So he dropped three fuel pods there. I can pick those up. And now we've got cargo. So that's kind of one of the base gameplay loops for this whole system. Okay, so I'm going to show you kind of a, a mock approach for a battle. This is the battle cruiser, and he has a ton of missiles. He might actually kill me. I've been trying to balance it out to a point where it's fun and challenging. So he's just spotted me there, and I'm going to try and create enough of uh, a speed difference with those incoming missiles to dodge. So if I can get within weapons range, he can no longer lock me. So that's kind of my goal in this fight. <laughs> and if he gets me with a good volley there, I will die. Now, we are going to adjust the way that um, aiming works a bit in this game. So his spread's going to be a little bit different. And I'm about to go into the missile range again, so he's got more missiles incoming. And so I've been tweaking those missile values, the shot values. Um, there we go. I got hit. But this is just one ship. You can imagine going up against the fleet, things are going to get more complicated. And there's a bit of lag on those bullets because we need to pool them. And so that might kind of be like fighting a, sm a small ship versus a larger ship. Nah, pay no attention to the buggy Niagara effect that didn't despawn there. It looks cool though, doesn't it? Now, another system that is not fully functional yet, but um, I can try and show it to you. I can show you the concept of it anyway, is the disable system. So that ship's disabled. I got to get out of his firing arc now because there's a little bit of a bug. Okay, 
So he should be, for the most part, dead in the water. Uh-oh. And he's just going to keep drifting now. As you can see, he's kind of heading towards this asteroid. In fact, I think he's going to hit it. Let's see if that kills him, actually. That might kill him. No. Okay, he's still there. It did do some damage, though. Um, let's see. Is his dock on that side? I think it is. There it is. Okay, so... In game, the idea is that you should be able to dock with a drifting ship. Without drag, I have to manually stop. <laughs> what is this, Star Citizen? Oh man. No, I, I bumped him and it did too much damage there. We don't really have the mechanics in to make that work yet, but the idea is that we'll give ships drag so they'll eventually slow down, but if you want to dock with them and then basically slow them and loot them you will be able to get more loot rarer items and stuff from disabled ships rather than destroying them outright now this truly is the very first iteration of mixing the weapon ai and the movement ai together and while it is a bit janky and there's a lot of things that we have to improve upon it and that'll probably a long process a long iterative process it has just completely opened up the floodgates of possibilities on what we can start testing and doing with this game. And while Rich isn't here for today's devlog, he's been doing all the hard work on getting AI up and running. And he actually managed to build this system with a physics-based system where the thrusters are actually controlling the ship versus a kinematic system where the ship is more or less just following lines and then the thrusters pretend to be activating so it is actually physics based for now and that is the way we would like to develop it so hopefully we can stick with that plan for the future i think things are going to get much more complicated as we start to do ship fleet maneuvers and stuff like that a lot of enemies in the game won't be flying solo so there will be a lot of different tactics that players will need to employ to deal with multiple ships that are guarding and protecting each other so lots of progress has been made and whenever we open up a new door a new gateway for this game it shows us just how many more things we want to do within that space and AI is going to be a deep ongoing process of balance, refinement, adding features and whatnot, but it is really exciting and it means that probably every week from here on out, there's going to be some fun stuff to test with spaceships and combat and things like that. In fact, it's made me want to shift a bunch of the asset design finally into the spaceship side of the game. Uh, really, I look at the ships that are in the game right now. Is a bit more of placeholders and now that i'm just feeling more confident about being able to test out the ai systems i think it's really time to uh, start designing some of the foundational looks for what spaceships are going to look like and i cannot wait to start building those out beyond that there's a bunch of other features that we want to get integrated next week i'm going to stop saying what we're going to do on a weekly basis because the plan often changes but we would like to integrate a new movement system into the game so hopefully we can accomplish that goal next week but if you guys want to follow the project a little more closely check out our discord where we post slightly more regular updates and also talk about problems and bottlenecks that we're running into that the community often chimes in with and can help out. Uh, it's a great place to talk about game development. And if you want to learn more about the game, check out our devlog playlist here, along with the overall concept of the game shown in one of those episodes. So I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.